Welcome to the 2023 NBA Draft presented by State Farm. Back in their draft headquarters, teams are making their final deliberations as to who will be joining their franchise. But here in the green room, the nerves, the emotions, they are high because everything these players have worked for is here. But before stepping into their futures, they're stepping onto the red carpet. Victor Wembenyama looking slick in green. And then Brandon Miller, three-piece suit. I'm here for the stripes. I like the stripes. Scoot stripes. Henderson. Go. I'm here for the bling. He might win. Yeah. Can we get <laughs> can we get Jay Billis a grill? That was Jay's second Jay choice. Jay Billis of a suit grill. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you actually gave that to him, didn't you, Jay? Jay, Jay, Jay I think you person. should have probably been wearing these two. <laughs> Asar and Amen Thompson. But we will not wait any longer. Here is NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. With the first pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Victor Wembanyama from Nantar, France. Victor Wembanyama sharing this moment with his family. Every phone in this arena is out capturing this historical moment because he is perhaps the greatest prospect to ever walk across this stage. He heads to San Antonio following in the footsteps of fellow Frenchman Tony Parker, who he idolized growing up, of Manu Ginobili, a fellow number one picks, Tim Duncan, David Robinson, all of whom won championships with the franchise under the tutelage of Greg Popovich, the winningest coach in league history. And at seven foot four, an elite rim protector with outside range. He is where the league's past Jay meets its present. A dominant big man for the modern era. Singularly unique, and I'm using unique correctly because there are no gradations of unique. You can't be very unique or the most unique. Here, Jay goes. I had to do that for my wife. She's an English major. She gets <laughs> on me about did that. Did you go to Duke? <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, We're not oh. trying to the Dukies in here, the first oh, pick. Man, here we go. But your, your, your point about the shot blocking. So in the French League, Rudy Gobert played in the same league. Right. Played 27 games. Victor Wembanyama played 34 games in that league and blocked over 50 more shots than Rudy Gobert did. I mean, that's significant. He, he's an 83% free throw shooter. He's got a great shooting touch. He only shoots about 30% from three, but I think that's going to improve because he's, he's got really good mechanics. Uh, he's the real deal. He's one of those guys, you just have to watch it and you'll see. You don't have to listen to it. Watch it and you know. With the second pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Brandon Miller from the University of Alabama. Brandon Miller, the SEC Player of the Year, the Newcomer of the Year, Mitch Kupchak, the general manager in Charlotte. He was in attendance for Miller's season high, 41 points against South Carolina. That was back in February. Ooh, but with the third pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Scoot Henderson from Marietta, Georgia, and the NBA G League's Team Ignite. Scoot Henderson, big game, big personality, of course from the G League Ignite, following in the footsteps of Jalen Green, Jonathan Kaminga, Dyson Daniels, all top 10 picks here out of... With the fourth pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select Amen Thompson from Oakland, California, an overtime elite. Oakland, stand up. Amen Thompson headed to the Houston Rockets. And, and I just love this. With the fifth pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons, Pistons select Asar Thompson from Oakland, California, an overtime elite. Twin brothers selected back-to-back -back here in the 2023 NBA Draft. And Asar Thompson, he said... I'm no With the sixth pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Anthony Black from the University of Arkansas. 
Anthony Black led the SEC in minutes played, and he was the only Arkansas player to start every game this last season. And I had a conversation with him earlier this week, and he told me that he was unranked, right, until his last summer of AAU. And that became a real piece of his identity. He actually keeps screenshots still of all of the different rankings. With the seventh pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select Bilal Koulibaly from Courbevoie, France. Bilal Koulibaly, of course, the teammate of Victor Wembanyama on Mets 92. He first played with Wembanyama when they were 12 years old, but he really impressed at the draft combine, and he actually held his own combine in Paris because he was... With the eighth pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Jarris Walker from the University of Houston. Jarris Walker on the board for Washington, but of course we know is going to Indiana as our Adrian Wojnarowski just reported. All of his stats, he's a winner. They all win up in the NCAA tournament. His coach, Jonathan Thompson, he told me just meant so much for him. He played for him all the time. But, but the story that stands out to me the most, Jay, about Jarris Walker is he started... With the ninth pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Taylor Hendricks from UCF. Taylor Hendricks the first ever player out of UCF to be drafted in the first round. And he's actually from Florida. He got offers from Miami, from Florida, from Florida State. Ultimately, he blazed his own path, choosing USC and becoming UCF, rather, and becoming the first pick out of the program. And when the pick was called, JJ, you said, yes, I love this guy. Why is that? I have a trade to announce. As part of a deal to be finalized later, the Indiana Pacers are trading to the Washington Wizards the draft rights to Bilal Koulibaly, the seventh pick, and the Wizards are trading to the Pacers the draft rights to Jarris Walker, the eighth pick. And with the tenth pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Kaysen Wallace from the University of Kentucky. For 16 straight years, John Calipari has had a first-round pick now with Kaysen Wallace, the freshman guard out of Kentucky, on his way to Oklahoma City via the Dallas Mavericks. He says he wants to model his game after Jimmy Butler, and to that point, he was quoted saying this, you can't teach dog. It just has to be in you, and if that doesn't say Jimmy Butler, J.J., I don't know what does. Uh, Eric, you're absolutely right, and I, I think it's really interesting when you look at the history of Kentucky guards under John Calipari, none of them have really produced at an elite level in college, but then you look at them in the NBA, Jamal Murray, Shea Gilgis-Alexander, Tyler Hero, oh. Devin Booker, to name a few. I'm not willing to bet against any Kentucky guard coming out. The Harrison twins are the only two that I can think of, although they both had solid NBA careers, that didn't just pop once they got to the NBA. Well, he did become the third Kentucky freshman with 20 points, 80% shooting in the NCAA tournament, going along with Shea Gilgis-Alexander and Eric Bledsoe. I think he's the safest pick in the, in the lottery because you know exactly what you're getting. He's a complete guard. And, you know, Kaysen Wallace has length. He's only 6'3", but he's got a 6'8 wingspan. I think he's the best on-ball perimeter defender in the draft. Uh, he gets two steals a game. He's a good finisher at the rim, an excellent passer. But as a defender, he's very high IQ.